I'm not a hoarder, at least I don't think I am. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and on this episode of Ray GTV, that's like HGTV, but it's me, Ray Baby Ray, we are going to be tackling my extremely junky, extremely cluttered two car garage. So my garage has served as a landing spot for all of the clutter and junk and extra stuff that I didn't really want inside of my house ever since I moved in last summer. So now, eight months later, I really wanna actually organize and transform this space into a fully functional garage that can actually hold two vehicles. I do plan on buying a new car soon, and I'm actually gonna be keeping my current car because I wanna give it to my little sister when she does get home from college so I'm gonna need a spot for two cars pretty soon and right now there's so much junk in there that you literally cannot park another car which is sad stay tuned for the new car vlog by the way shout out to my parents y'all are good parents always there to help your girl out the first thing that I wanted to do was get rid of my old plastic shelving units that I had in my previous townhome these just aren't that great of quality they get kind of flimsy and bent after a while because the plastic is just not that strong so they came over to help me assemble my new metal shelving units. These are a little bit bigger, they're way sturdier, and they have wheels on them. They're actually very easy to assemble, but you do kind of need two people to do it, to kind of hold it together as you do it. But we put them together pretty fast, and these are going to be my main storage units in my garage now. Then from there, it was time to start actually moving everything out of the way, piling things up, taking those shelves down and out of the way, because now I gotta go through all this junk that is in my garage. So like I said, I have a lot of stuff in this garage. It has like furniture pieces in there. It has birthday supplies. It has old stuff from college. It has boxes and bins and supplies for every type of craft. Just all types of junk and randomness and stuff that I didn't even know was in there. <laughs> Can you drive it? Swerving, ooh! And since a lot of things were piled up just on the floor, it gave a space for bugs to come and crawl under and die. So there was like a huge cricket graveyard in all the corners of my garage. In the arms of an angel. And that's the problem with just piling everything on the floor and not having proper shelving or hooks or bins for stuff is that it just gets so dirty and nasty and infested. And like after a while, you're not even wanna like, I didn't even wanna touch some of the stuff that was sitting on my garage floor because I was scared to lift it up and see what was gonna crawl out from under it. So my mom suggested that we kind of treat this like an episode of Hoarders. So we're gonna just divide this up into piles. For sure keep, not sure, and trash slash get rid of the weight, whatever. So. I am. Okay, that's stuff you need to sort through. Not that you're definitely keeping. Mr. Bones. Somewhere to sit. These bins are good bins, but y'all can take them off with the unmatched aesthetic. What you mean? You think I want some raggedy unnatural bins? Yes. <laughs> you think my garage is that caliber? Do you need these or no? Yeah, okay. So, okay. All my bins have white lids, or clear, or color coded. I'm not a hoarder. At least I don't think I am. <laughs> my wall tree is <laughs> still in good shape. So where would you like to hang your wall tree come next Christmas? <laughs> like in the guest room? Please don't. <laughs> you think it's ugly? No, I just think it's past its prime. It's seen better days. It's not useful anymore. Listen, if you want to keep it, that's your business. 
Don't diss my wall tree. I just have a lot of stuff and I've gone through a lot of transitional periods in my life recently. I moved from an apartment to a town home to now an actual home and I've had a daughter and I've had like just different things that I've done that I've had like a set of stuff for this and a set of furniture for that and it's kind of just all rolled over and then all the leftovers just end up in the garage. I definitely found some stuff that I was looking for that I didn't even know was in there. I found some actual like good usable stuff that I can keep that's worth keeping. Found a lot of trash, a lot of broken things, things that I can just give away, things that I can possibly sell or give to friends. So we made some good progress clearing everything out and kind of cleaning everything up and getting the setup ready with the shelving units on day one. But then on day two, I wanted to start off by going to Home Depot to get some supplies. All right, so now that I've got the main cleaning up done in the garage, it's time to get some extra accessories and things to finish the job. So we are here at the Home Depot. Basically what I'm trying to do is create one wall of storage with all the shelving units and bins and the opposite wall is going to be filled with hooks to just take some of those heavier bulky items and get them up off of the floor, hang them up on the wall so that they're not collecting dust and bugs like they were before. Okay, so I'm gonna get two of these, probably this one for my big Christmas wreath and this one for the stroller. So I feel like I need a ladder, a real big girl, well, mm -hmm. a semi big girl ladder because all I have is a little step stool and there are a lot of high areas in my house. Cause the point is I need something tall, taller than the little step stool I have. Yeah. So there's no point in getting a little short ladder. I don't so need that. Ladder. These are just different like weight capacities, like heavy duty, but I don't need a heavy duty one. I just need something that can basically hold me or my parents or whoever. So this one holds 225 pounds, which is good. I can easily carry it myself, so that's good. Also, while I was at Home Depot, I wanted to go ahead and stock up on some kind of garage slash tools slash household supplies. I feel like everybody, whether you live in an apartment or you're single or you're married, you should always have like a good set of tools and emergency items because you never know when you might run into a problem and it's really nice to have these things on hand. Tape measure is something I use all the time and can't ever, I have like a little cheapo one that I can never find. So tape measure, check, box cutter. Check. Part of me finishing getting my house together and organizing all these spaces is not only to organize it, but to make sure I have all the supplies and everything that I need so that my life can run smoothly. So another good thing to have is a stud finder if you're gonna be hanging things on the wall. My mom has one, but I need one. I'm tempted to go for the cheapest option because it's not something you use every day as long as it works. Two little flashlights for emergencies. Something really cool that my mom actually found on Amazon is this Christmas wreath bag. So this is a perfectly sized bag that can fit my 36 inch Christmas wreath as well as my smaller one within it. So you can actually zip it up and hang it up on your hook on your wall. Okay, so now with our hooks and our supplies in hand, my mom and I came back to the garage to get started on actually figuring out the layout of this wall hook hook wall situation. So the hooks that we got for the wall say you don't need to put them in a stud, but only up to 15 pounds. So we're trying to see how much the actual items that we're gonna hang up weigh so that we know if they're too heavy, we're gonna need to put the hooks in a stud. So <laughs> I'm going to stand on the scale and hold the items. Of course, I kind of wanted to map everything out first, measure it, and make sure everything was going to fit. So always measure twice and drill once. We, for some reason, can never seem to stick to that rule, so there's a couple of extra holes in my wall, but that's fine. Public service announcement. You don't need to buy the more expensive electronic stud finder like I bought, which I realized I didn't even have the batteries for it, so I couldn't use it, so I went back and got a little cheap. One that just works with a magnet, and this actually works really well. So if you need a stud finder, just get this one. No batteries, no nothing, and it works. Once we finally got everything mapped out, we drilled all of the heavy duty hooks into the wall, and I think it turned out really good. So we started with this wall, which has the shelves on it. Then we did the opposite wall, which has the hooks on it. 
Over on the other wall that has the door that goes into my house, I had these white cubby shelves, which I thought about keeping, but honestly, it's just another place to collect unnecessary clutter. And they're kind of an eyesore because they're kind of old and dingy. I've had them for a few years. So I decided to just put those in the giveaway pile and clear that space out to hang my broom hook mechanism. This thing really comes in handy because it's a great organizational tool to be able to have all your things with sticks, things with poles, brooms and mops and outdoor thingy majiggies if you have like a rake or a hoe. <laughs> I don't have that many of them, but I might need to get some in the future, so I wanted to make sure I have plenty of spots. These are just things that I would rather have hanging nicely in the garage and then piled up somewhere inside of my house. Another thing that I did was transfer over my large buckets of house paint that my builders had given me into smaller actual paint buckets that are just easier to manage and more airtight. The builder gave me these giant buckets of paint, but they don't really seal clothes that well anymore. The paint is starting to dry out and get really chunky. Honestly, I'm probably gonna need to buy new paint if I ever need like a large amount of it. But the real reason why I'm keeping it is just for touch-ups around the house. So it should be fine. I should still be able to use a little bit of the chunky paint to do touch-ups. That's why I wanted to keep it in a smaller, actual airtight container. That way I can easily bring my little bucket into the house and do some touch-ups if I need to. And when this paint fully goes bad, I'll just buy a whole new can. After putting all the final items either up on their hooks or in a bin on the shelf. That was it and this is the finished result. Now everything has a space. It has either its own bin or its own hook. Like I said, I have all of my Halloween and Christmas decorations separated out into their own bins. I have my old college supplies and keepsakes that I did want to keep in their own bins, as well as paint supplies and different things like that, all nicely tucked away. And then on the other wall, I have all the hooks which are holding all of those heavier items that would otherwise just be sitting on the floor collecting bugs. Now they are up off of the ground and they look really nice. Mr. Bones even has his own hook. I do still have my large 12 foot Christmas tree and my smaller six foot Christmas tree just in their original boxes kind of off to the side. This doesn't really bother me because it's not in the way of parking a car. Eventually I know that there are other Christmas tree storage ideas, but this works for now. I definitely got rid of a lot of stuff. I had a huge pile of furniture and just different things that I am going to give away as well as bags and bags of trash and recycling, probably like two dumpsters worth of stuff cleared out of my garage. So that felt really good to just get all of that stuff out of my life. So yeah, you guys, that is my new and improved organized garage. I now have space for my new car in there. I'm gonna move my old car over to the other side, pull in the new car into the main side, and we gonna be popping. I'm really happy with it. It honestly makes me feel so much better every single day when I go in there to you know get in my car and leave, just looking around and seeing everything up off of the floor and looking nice and pretty and organized. It just gives me a good feeling in my heart a good start to my day because when you're surrounded by clutter or you have to see clutter every day as a part of your routine, it actually has an effect on your life. So if you have a junky garage, take this as inspiration, girl. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it satisfying. If you like this type of video, stay tuned because I will have more coming up. I really need to organize and finish decorating and setting up my laundry room. So that'll be coming up really soon.